How do we warm up the pool? We go solar, and actually I have a wood-fired heater as well for this. Today we're gonna look at our solar heater. I built it last year, threw it together, just kinda cheap, quick, and easy, but it worked like a charm, and it provided a ton of heat. I'm freshening it up this year a little bit. We're gonna do a couple of things to it to try to improve on it. Some of the things I noticed, such as it did have one major flaw that I'm going to fix this year. So let's take a look at it. Basically, I built a quick wooden frame out of two by fours, and then we lined it with some one inch styrofoam insulation. And then I just have a 50 foot black garden hose that I coiled up inside. Now I do have a bit of extra hose that hangs out, but it is a black hose to begin with. so that I could usually just leave in the sun behind it to add that little extra heat. It comes in from that corner up there through the back, goes coiling around. Once we get to the center, it goes back through and the hose goes out to the pool. So the first thing I would do is get rid of the ru black rubber hose and replace that with either half inch or three eighths inch copper tubing. The rubber hose, although it does pick up the heat, doesn't transfer the heat as well as copper tubing wood. So that is on the agenda for this summer. For now, I just put it back together, just to start heating up the pool. Now, inside the pool, I have this little garden fountain that I got from the local home improvement store. It's rated to pump 300 gallons per hour, and it's just connected to a piece of garden hose, which connects to our 50 foot black hose that's gonna run through here. As the water comes in, the sun is heating up this hose with the plexiglass over it. It traps the heat inside and the water circulating through has time to pick up the heat and take it back to the pool. The second thing I would do, all, the, all around the edge where I drilled through the plexiglass and screwed it into the wood behind it, get rid of all those screws, and then we're gonna replace it with one inch angle brackets as basically clamps to hold it down. And this way it should have that little bit of give where it can move back and forth with the expansion and contraction of the plexiglass that it shouldn't crack because that box builds up an awful lot of heat. Which brings us to the third thing that I would do. I don't think the one inch insulation is necessary. I think we'll get more than enough heat inside that box as long as we paint the inside black. I did not always get out there to plug in the heater and circulate the water through. The sun would beat down into the box. And as you can see, the styrofoam insulation just kind of melted, cracked from the heat inside the box, which then exposed the blue insulation underneath that wasn't painted. So yeah, get rid of that. We'll just seal the box up nice and tight with a little silicone bead. And that should trap more than enough heat in there. I bought cheap $2 project spray paint when I painted this, it did not hold up through the winter. So I have my choice of either repainting it every year or bringing it back in the house. We'll see how it holds up after this summer. If it's looking pretty good at the end of the summer, I'll just put it away and bring it out in the spring next year. If it's not, then I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I might just leave it out there again and respray paint it in the spring. Fresh coat of paint might just do it well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it gave you some great ideas on how you can heat your pool and you liked what you saw, please hit that like button. It's gonna help YouTube get this video out to more people just like you and me. Hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. Thank you, have a great day, and we'll catch ya. I'm Chris, this is Creative Redneckin'.